You wanted it, you'll get it. Knuckle Dusters Wendy. And as no one suggested anything, I thought, what is an interesting boss battle? Hmm. Devour below. But there's no standalone rules for that, so I thought, let's try and kill several bosses. Return to Last King. It is then. Mm, anything I'm missing? Yeah, this is the deck. And let's hope that Knuckle Dusters will be able to hold its own for its fair share of punches. Okay, let's go then. Mm. Let's mulligan those. There it is already. Let's go! First action, take a resource. Second action, play our best friend Leo De Luca. Third action, take a resource. Fourth action, rabbit's foot. Slow and steady start. So, draw a card, gain a resource. Okay, Wendy's amulet. Now I just have to protect that from her weakness. Doom and encounters. There are no lunatic enemies. Okay, there we go. Four against two willpower test. Think Wendy should be able to pass those, right? Nope. So, draw one card. Take a horror and lose one action. Let's go on with our setup then. What tokens do I have? Okay, they do nothing. So I'm not intending to take any clues. So, my intent here is to prepare myself for a knuckle duster close combat fight with all, the, all those lunatics. Which is going to require some strong card draw. And economy. So what I'm going to do is draw a card. Draw a card. Mob Enforcer. Not what I wanted to see. He does one damage. Do I expect to take much damage? No. I'm going to try and evade him, committing take heart. Minus five, that doesn't work, so draw two. 
thing to resources. Enemy face, he hits Leo for one. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Doom and encounters. A maniac. That's something we might want to kill uh, at some point. But up until then, it's a very reasonable thing to get. So, first action is going to be first of all, play a pickpocketing, which is fast. Second of all, my first section is going to be Evade the Maniac, 4 against 1, committing manual dexterity here. Minus 4, so I am up by 1. Which is good enough, I guess. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to draw a card for manual dexterity. Yay, another pickpocketing. So, do I want to try and discard him? Not yet. I'm going to play a second pickpocketing. I guess over here. And I'm going to try and evade the mob enforcer. Committing a manual dexterity. So I'm up by three. Should be well enough, actually. No, I'm going to do it up by one. Yeah, no problems here. I'm going to draw a card from... Actually, after you evade. I'm going to evade him. Draw a card from pickpocketing. Gain a resource. Ah, draw a card. Abandoned and alone. Okay, one take card, one manual dexterity, that's totally fine. Hmm. Let's see, two enemies here. Not that keen to stay here. Because literally my only enemy solution apart from evading, is of course Knuckle Dusters. So I'm not tempted to use anything else. Mm, so I'm going to... move over to our friend Constance over here. And my last action is going to be take a resource. Okay, upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource, okay, drawing thin. That's our economy starting to fall together. Doom number three. So the agenda is going to advance. Okay, Diane Divine. Shocking display. So she's just going to Okay, you can't discover clues or take control of clues, but you can still parlay with the bystanders, so she doesn't do much. She's going to move there. Okay, and encounter cards. Ah, oh, fair enough. 
that's just a free draw then. Bring us closer to our desired board state. So let's see what our plan is for this turn. I want to draw cards, I want to get resources. This is basically the long term plan. Now, the best thing to do that is, of course, drawing thin, so I'm going to play that. Uh, oh, let's see, somewhere over there. Hopefully I don't need to use my threat area that much. My second action is going to be parlaying with Constance, which I'm going to use drawing thin on. For two resources. Minus three. Wow, that doesn't work. Unsurprisingly, I'm going to draw a card from Rabbit's Foot. And I'm going to use the Living Room's reaction ability to draw another card. Okay, 17 cards now. And I want to play down some things. Do I want to pay for him or do I want to keep him around for a bit? I think what I'm going to do is play Easy Mark for two resources and draw a card. And my last action is going to be play Suggestion. Enemy face, he's going to hunt and deal one damage. Upkeep face. Okay, well, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand. I don't really need the second knuckle dusters, so that's going to go. And Mythos phase. One horror and one damage it is. Okay, let's see what I'm going to do here. I think my plan is going to be to evade him. Because he's actually useful right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use suggestion, evade the mob enforcer, eight against three. I'm going to commit manual dexterity. So I'm at ten against three here. Minus four, so still still six against three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one card from manual dexterity. I'm going to evade him. I'm going to draw a card, gain a resource, and another time draw a card, gain a resource. That was our first action. Now let's look at our hand size here. I'm going to use my second action to play drawing thin use my third action to play a grizzly totem and use my last action to play lone wolf actually yeah that's fine Card, gain a resource. What is that? 13th vision. Okay. That 
Should be fine. And Mythos Phase. Doom Encounters. Sickening Reality. Okay. Did I shuffle the deck? Yeah, I guess so. Because I didn't do that. Ishimaru Haruko is going to turn. Unfortunately, she's pretty close to us. So now we actually have to worry, worry about enemies. Six, four, three. Okay, so my turn is going to start. That doesn't have surge or anything. No. Mm. First action is going to be evade the mob enforcer. Eight against three. one that works he is evaded I'm going to draw a card and gain a resource do that again hmm. let's see I don't really want to Leo to die just yet I want to have my totem. So first of all, I guess I want to have some encounter protection. Now question is, Right now or next turn? And I guess right now is going to be the time for defense. One, two. Knuckle dusters are one and only goal here. Then one, two. I'm going to play her amulet. And my last action is going to be Parley with Constance. Going to take two drawing pins for money. And do that test three against seven. Minus four. Do I want to get a clue or do I want to draw a card? Ah, why not? I'm going to pay two for your catastrophe. Place that beneath my deck. And of course, what I've seen there is an Elder Sign, which is an automatic success, which is why I don't care about the difficulty. And I'm going to get that clue. Enemy phase Ishimaru hunts, inflicting one damage and one horror. Upkeep phase, where is our lovely little enforcer? Do we have any objects?
just to signify those are stacks of two. Have a little bit more wiggle room here. Okay. Draw a card. Okay, resource. Okay, I'm very overzealous here. Mm, okay. So I don't actually have that resource yet. But I'm drawing encounter cards. A party guest. I don't really care about that, so I'm going to put her here. I think she has to move as well, but she's not relevant either, hopefully. Does it have surge or something? No. But it has surge from Overzealous. Okay, let's see how Wendy gets out of that mess. Doom number three, which is a sickening reality. Jordan Perry, where is he? Right over there. Okay, and an actual account card as well. Fragile thought. Okay, so I have to discard event cards the total resource cost of a three. I'm going to discard Lucky and you catastrophe in that order. And that's my encounter card. Okay, now I have to deal with the board state finally. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually suggestion has to be I think I forgot to remove one because I wasn't up by two once okay either way I will deal with some things here. Oh, actually, I should have discarded Easy Mark as well because the shroud value is actually f 5 right now. So I'm going to discard Easy Mark as well. Okay. He can be parlayed with. She will be evaded. I think I want to either kill the swarm or move away. My turn starts. I'm going to attack the maggot swarm. Exhausting two drawing thins. One to draw a card and one to gain two resources. I'm attacking one against seven. <laughs> Easy going. Of course, that's one against zero and I'm automatically successful. Because Knuckle Dusters is amazing. Second action is going to be evade 
Ichimaru. Eight against three. Ought to fail. I'm going to discard Rabbit's Foot to redraw that. Plus zero. Now, of course, that works. So she's evaded. And I'm going to draw two cards and gain two resources. And for. It was my second action. My third action is going to be one, two, three, four. Pay to discard the Mop Enforcer. Six cards in my deck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack Ichimaru. Just going to make sure that indeed your catastrophe is still there. I'm going to attack Ichimaru one against six. Minus six. Okay. What I see is an elder sign. So I'm actually successful. Two damage here. Because, once again, one fight in Knuckle Busters is the best. Okay, upkeep phase. Actually, enemy phase. Because he hunts, unfortunately, to the courtyard. And now, upkeep phase. Draw a card and gain a resource. Doom number one, and encounter cards. Bleeding walls. A willpower test against the shroud value of my location. So four against three. Okay. Yep, I'm just going to take that. Minus one, I am going to fail that because of the 13th vision. But that's a test I would fail, so I'm going to use Lucky on that. And I'm actually successful. My turn begins. I'm going to get a Lone Wolf resource. Now I have no real answer for two enemies at once right now. Let's see. Six, six three, one, two, three, four. So I guess I'm going to kill Ichimaru. I'm evading her. Eight against three. I'm going to pay fight of light. So now I'm at 12 against, three. actually, I'm too good at fighting then. So no, I'm not going to do that. Eight against three has to suffice. I have lucky in case. Okay, first action, eight against three. Auto fail, that would have failed anyways. So I'm going to discard lucky. To redraw that. Minus three. I was at eight against three, so I'm up by two. I'm going to draw two cards and gain two resources. She is evaded. I 
And that was my first action. My second action is going to be... Attack her, committing Grissy Totem, one against six. So I'm going to use Drawing Thin to gain some resources. Minus two, that doesn't work. So I'm going to draw one card from Rabbit, Rabbit's Foot. And I'm going to trigger Take Heart to draw two and gain two resources. My third action is going to be attack her with Knuckle Dusters. One against six. Oh no, a token I'm going to cancel with you Catastrophe. So I actually passed that test and Ichimaru is defeated. One action left. I guess track shoes. Or do I want to get some money? Totally unnecessary. Yeah, why not? I'm going to Or do I want to move away? No, that's fine. I'm going to play track shoes somewhere over here. And that's my last action. Enemy phase, he hunts. I think he's going to kill Leo. Just because I have another one. And upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Doom number two. Count cards. Tough crowd. That's 100% freebie. Because I, I could make use of the living room, but I have one absolutely enough card draw. Uh, did I discard something? No. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm just going to discard your catastrophe because that's what I want to play. Okay, let's see. My first action is going to be attack him with knuckle dusters. Actually, I want to evade him either way. Mm. That's my second lucky. There it is. Okay, so my first action is going to be... First of all, Lone Wolf Resource. My first action is going to be evade him. Using Suggestion, I'm at 8 against 2. And this time... No. My first action is going to be attack him. 
with knuckle dusters. Two drawing thins, one to draw one card, one to gain two resources. I'm one against six. Let's reveal another token, minus three, which I'm going to cancel with your catastrophe. So what I saw is an elder sign, two damage. My second action is going to be use suggestion eight against two. One for fight or flight, so that's actually 12 against two. 13 against two. Which I'm reasonably, reasonably confident in. 13 against two works beautifully. Do I want to draw even? Yes, why not? And he is evaded. My four, third action is going to be play a Leo de Luca. And my last action is going to be Attack Jordan Perry with Knuckle Dusters. I'm at five against two. So what could go wrong? Minus three and place one of your clues on your location. Actually, I'm going to try and keep that clue. So I'm going to redraw. And that would be a fail anyways. Another minus three. Okay, so I'm going to lose that clue. That's for sure. And I'm going to play lucky. So another dam two damage. Okay. And that was my last action. Draw a card, gain a resource. He healed one. Nothing else happens. Do number three. Uh, party guest in play. Place one doom on the current agenda. And the party guest is going to be uh, an angry one now. Okay, and encounter cards. Another tough crowd. Wow. So, let's see. First action. Attack him with knuckle dusters. One, two, three, four for drawing thin. Easy elder sign. Five. Second action. Do it again. One against two this time. Minus eight. I'm going to play you catastrophe. Seven damage. So one attack still. I'm just going to do it this turn. Yeah, actually I forgot to lone wolf. Okay, attack him with knuckle dusters. 
Minus four, what I see is an elder sign. So he is defeated. How's that for a boss fight? Okay, what's my last action now? And investigate here even if I wanted to. Do I want to move to crazed guest? Yes, I do. I'm going to move over to the crazed guest. Revealing the gallery and I'm going to use track shoes to try and move out of there. Five against three. Minus one, actually that works, so I'm just going to move back. And enemy phase. This one hunts. One damage, upkeep from a card, gain a resource. Doom number two, encounter cards. Illusionary evil. Ah, that's fine. I'm going to take that card to my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack using knuckle dusters. I'm at one against three. I'm going to use drawing thin to draw two cards and I'm going to take the test. So that's something I'm going to cancel using a catastrophe. Two damage. Second action is going to be do the same thing. One against three. Minus two. Two damage. Third action is going to be. Oh, and I'm passing by one, so I'm not passing by three or more. Mm. Which is why. What is, go what is going to be my third action here? I think I'm going to evade. Eight against four. A nine against four. Yeah, could have attacked, but that's fine. It's evaded. I'm going to draw two and get two resources. Actually, I forgot that one. And I'm going to attack the crazed guest again using knuckle dusters. Reveal another token, minus two. That's fine, I'm going to cancel that and the crazed guest is gone. Okay. That Actually, never mind. I'm just not passing that test. 
let me see what what did I do what did I do wrong I I'm failing that test because I passed by five and automatic failure takes precedent so delusionary evil is gone that thing is actually not evaded but that doesn't matter because instead of taking pickpocketing then and drawing two and getting two resource uh, getting to two resources i'm going to use rabbit's foot to draw one and do essentially the same thing take that one new catastrophe for my last test and attack him while he's ready or I can attack her while she's ready so nothing really changes okay and upkeep draw one card gain a resource and i'm going to discard your catastrophe doom number three okay a new card diane divine unfortunately because we are at her location at the moment so one horror here and divine is gone and four three two actually four six two and still encounter cards where did i place her okay bleeding walls Test willpower three. If you fail, lose one action and take one horror. I'm going to take that test. Minus two. I'm at two against three, which is why I'm going to pay for lucky. I'm at four against three and I pass that test. Now, my first action is going to be attack Diane Divine using Knuckle Dusters, of course. And I'm going to first of all gain one Long Wolf resource, and I'm going to use Drawing Thin to draw one card and to get two resources and I'm going to attack plus zero which actually fails so I'm going to discard you catastrophe to redraw that token minus two that's something I can play you catastrophe on so I'm just going to pass that test First two damage. Second action, do it again. And attack. Minus two, that works. Another new catastrophe. So she's at four damage now. Now what I want to do is draw two cards. So I'm either going to attack her again which is the safer option so I'm going to go for that I am going to attack her using take heart and grizzly totem without using knuckle dusters of course because I'm planning to fail minus five I fail I get that back to my hand I don't want to use rabbit's foot just yet Actually, I want to. Why not? Draw three, gain two resources, and my last action is going to be attack with Knuckle Dusters. Plus zero, that's something I need to cancel. And minus one, that's something 
I want to cancel as well, but using new catastrophe. Oh, there it is. So, Diane Divine is defeated as well. <laughs> the next thing Wendy just took her breastful knuckle dusters and got really close in close quarter combat in this living room over here, which I imagined being totally destroyed by now. Okay, that was my last action. I have one new catastrophe I'm going to draw, which is fine. So, I guess... Upkeep. Draw a card. Okay, a resource. And let's see what cards I want to have here. I want to keep one lucky in hand. So what I'm going to discard are actually just two your catastrophes. One doom and counter cards. Illusionary evils again. I'm going to take the doom. Because I'm fine with one of them flipping. Okay. Let's see, what do I do? I'm going to get a resource. There's that. Do I want to have some room to actually maneuver around or do I do I care about that or do I want to take some clues parlay action maybe hmm, let's see I have next turn someone is going to flip So what I want to do is I'm going to move to the courtyard and I'm going to use track shoes, two drawing thins for money. So I'm at five against seven. Yeah, I don't have any clues. I fail, which is fine. Discard the top card of the encounter deck. It unfortunately is an enemy, but that's pretty fine. Actually, it doesn't really matter. So, I'm not going to take horror. It's a five-fight enemy. My one fight is absolutely enough for anything that might face me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack as my second action, of course, using Knuckle Dusters minus four. And I pass that test, she's defeated. Third action is going to be play suggestion. Another one, just as a backup over there. And fourth action is going to be I don't have two cards there right now but it doesn't really matter I could use take hard but I go, I'm going to use easy mark so draw a card gain two resources upkeep draw a card and gain one resource I might have forgotten long wolf but it's optional either way so, let's see who flips now. There are still no party guests. So, Ashley Clark. Where is she? Oh, she's over here. One, two. Two, five, four. 
Okay. And encounter cards. There it is, a party guest. So I think bystander with most clues. Okay. First action um, is going to be move over to Ashley. Second action is going to be attack Ashley against let's see Ah, mm, oh, not using any, anything. Attack Ashley down by one. That's fine. I'm going to use you catastrophe and inflict two damage. Then I'm going to attack her again. That works. New catastrophe. And another two damage. And my last action is going to be the not certain one, which is what I'm why I'm debating to actually evade her. And actually, I'm not going to draw two times a plus zero. So I'm going to attack her again. I'm going to draw one with drawing thin, and I'm going to get two resources. I actually forgot that one. Minus five, that's fine. I'm going to pay for you catastrophe, and she's defeated as well. Okay, killing spree continues. Upkeep, draw a card, and gain a resource. Doom, and count cards, young psychopath. I'm not going to take the horror, I'm just going to kill it. Kill her. First action, attack. Against five, seven, nine. Taking two resources and another two resources going to kill her minus one that's fine I'm going to pay two for your catastrophe and she's gone then I'm going to discard the 13th vision because why not I can do that yeah. oh actually I forgot to take that test but there's no marker that I care about actually I do I could fail that but no Mm, what's my last action here? I actually want to stay there because I don't care about Doom. Even if I did, I could cancel it, so... I'm going to play Easy Mark. Why not? I could start actually even getting clues, but I don't really want to invest my time for that, so I don't have a clue to get rid of. Draw one card for upkeep, gain a resource. Do number two and counter cards. A maniac. I'm going to deal one damage. And I'm going to. Kill it. First action attack. Using two drawing thins. Actually, I might even just evade it. Yeah, why not? Five against one. That might just work. That does. So I'm going to use one pickpocketing because I don't want to use two. One, two. Actually, drawing through my deck is not the plan. I'm going to attack, drawing thin. One, two, three, four. Knuckle dusters. 
that's fine. And that's the pass. Knuckle dusters. That's a pass. And another thing that just died to Wendy's almighty power. Okay, my last action. I guess another easy mark. Upkeep. Go one card, gain one resource. And let's see who's going to turn now. Sebastian is going to turn. And he's all the way back there. Actually, I forgot the test again. Uh, even pass uh, the location test for the gallery. Okay. Sebastian is there. And that's everything, yes. And counter cards. I'm going to take a test for willpower four against four. Otherwise, I take two direct horror. So I'm just going to take that. Yeah, just take it. Minus eight. Tree, I'm even just going to pass it because I can. Okay. First, actually, that wasn't an action. First action is going to be. I don't really want him to attack me, so I want to be there and him to move over here. Actually, no, I don't want him to move over there, so I don't really have anything to do right now. I'm going to get some clues. First action, I'm going to investigate three against one. Yeah, that's literally just to pass some time. Yeah, minus five, doesn't work. New catastrophe, actually forgot lone wolf again. I have one clue, what an achievement. Action number two. Investigate three against. I have three cards there, so one, two, three, four. Three against five. Drawing thin takes some resources. I'm going to commit to take heart. Minus one. That doesn't work. I'm going to take part back to my hand and get some stuff. I might even draw a card. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. No, that's actually too much draw then. Three against one again. Actually, I'm going to draw that card as well. Three against one again, third action investigate. Minus four, I'm going to pass that. And I have a second clue, and my last action is going to be do whatever. Where is my... Oh, I threw it here again, okay. Mm, my last section is just going to be. Do I have anything else to do? She's not going to flip next turn, but I'm not going to discover clues next turn either. I don't want to move because I don't want to be attacked. So my last action is going to be play easy mark. 
still a single easy mark. Okay, draw a card, gain a resource, discard your catastrophe. Doom number one, of course he moved. And encounter cards. Ah, I forgot something. I forgot to take that test because now I actually have clues, so it might even matter. Yeah, I don't pass that test, but I just going to lucky that so I still pass. And then I draw still a U catastrophe. No, no, a decent mark. Uh, so that doesn't matter, and my encounter card is Fragile Thought. Which I don't really care about either. I'm going to discard your catastrophe. First action, move over to Sebastian. Second action, attack Sebastian. Actually, Lone Wolf, don't forget that. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to discard the top card. It's just Delusion or Evil, so no enemy for the courtyard. Second action, attack. I'm going to make it 3 against 5 with one drawing pin. And draw a card. Three against five. That already works. Two damage. Again, three against five. Minus five. One, two. That works. Four damage. Last action. Three against... Oh, actually, that was uh, one against three. Uh, last action, I'm going to use Drawing Thin again for the other one, for two resources. Minus one. Use those two resources to kill him off. Okay, who am I missing? I'm missing Constance and another party guest. Okay, that was my last action. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. And encounter cards. First of all, the Doom. Encounter cards. If there are no lunatic enemies, there are lunatic enemies. Test willpower 3. Minus 5. I could cancel that, but I'm... Yeah, why not? Just make it as safe as possible. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to pass the test. First action I'm going to... Investigate. Using two drawing thins. Actually, no, using one drawing thing to make it safe. Because I don't... Uh, actually, I might, might, might take two. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to draw through my deck. Investigate. Three against seven, nine. That's fine. I'm going to discover one clue. Second action, do it again. Minus two. Do I want to cancel that? Actually, minus two is fine. I'm going to play one lucky here and play one lucky here. So I'm at five. And I'm going to get that clue. My third action is going to be move over here to the dining room. And my last action is going to be actually investigated. Three against two. What could go wrong? 
absolutely easy. Upkeep phase. Draw a card, gain a resource for eight. Doom number three. Another thing happens. Constance Dumaine is going to turn. Okay. And counter card. Another dance of the Yellow King. Actually, I could take Constance this time. Yeah, I'm going to take the test. Minus six. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to cancel a token. Okay, well, the nearest. Let's just re re read that. The nearest lunatic enemy, which is either Constance or the Maniac. Readies moves one location at a time until it reaches your location, engages you, and makes an immediate attack. So, she's going to make an immediate attack. I'm going to dive because I want to assign both over here. So I'm going to play Perseverance and I'm going to persevere because I'm Survivor. First action, I'm going to, to attack. Of course, using my trusty Knuckle Dusters. Drawing thin. Actually, no, no drawing thin yet. This attack, Lone Wolf, is something I'm going to use though. Uh, let's see, no, I want to make sure that I'm not going to die, so I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to use Suggestion, but this one actually. Nine against one. Minus one, that works. She's evaded, draw two, gain two resources. Second action is going to be attack her. Against seven, Knuckle Dusters. Minus two. So I'm going to pay two for your catastrophe and I'm going to inflict two damage. Third action, Knuckle Dusters. Use two drawing thins, one for resources, one for cards. And that is another token, minus five, that's fine. I'm going to pay you for you catastrophe to make that a four. Last action, attack again. One against seven, minus one. And she is defeated as well. That was my turn. Upkeep phase again a card and gain a resource and I'm going to discard easy mark now I could actually take all three of them so that's my turn one doom and count cards marked by the sign okay nothing too concerning four against four minus four why not I'm just going to pass that test using double lucky. Lone wolf resource and first action is going to be investigate. Two against two. Actually. First action is going to be play easy mark. Draw a card. Play another easy mark and play another easy mark. So I'm going to draw those two as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. My second action is going to be investigate. With three against two. That doesn't work, but I have a trusty U catastrophe I can use for that, so gain that clue. Third action, she's going to deal me damage if she flips. Ah, that's fine. 
I'm going to move here. Then what I'm going to do is with my last action I'm going to parlay no investigate against the man in the pallet mask. Using two drawing pins to draw two cards. I'm at three against four, five, six, against ten. And that's no problem at all. He is defeated and gone. Upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. One, two, three cards. Boom number two. Maggot Swarm, something to kill. So, first action is going to be... Attack the Maggot Swarm using one drawing thin to draw a card. And I'm going to be at one against five. One six, I'm going to use that card and don't forget Long Wolf. So the Maggot Swarm is defeated. Second action, I'm going to investigate. Three against six. Use Drawing Thin to draw a card. Minus two, so I'm at one against six, which wouldn't suffice. Mm, I'm going to discard your Catastrophe and try that again. Yeah, that works. How much am I drawing my Elder Sign naturally? feel like too much. Okay, investigate again. Three against four this time. Minus six. I'm going to use you catastrophe to get that clue. And my last action is going to be move over to the courtyard. Use track shoes. Five against three. Minus six. I could move again. Try. Actually, one, two. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to move further. Then I'm going to draw the top card of the encounter deck, which is not an enemy. And upkeep, draw a card, gain a resource. Third doom, I think that's only one here, which is a crazed guest. Oh, actually, I don't have the time to do it. Hmm. I don't have the time for it, unfortunately. You'll see. Uh, because she's going to place one doom. Yeah. Encounter cards. Tough crowd. I don't care at all. First action, second action, third action, fourth action. Fifth action... I could try and do that, and because I'm greedy, I'm going to, even if it's standalone. First action, I'm going to investigate here. Three against three. That's a minus three. Place one of your clues on your location. I'm going to cancel that for sure. Discarding... Lone Wolf for that. Minus three. So, I f fail. I'm going 
to play two luckies and get that clue here. Mm. Let's see. Do I want to risk the courtyard or do I want to risk two damage, which should be fine. I'm going to investigate. Three against three. I'm going to use two drawing fins to gain resources and I'm going to commit take heart to that actually I commit take heart. My second action, minus one, that doesn't work. So I'm going to take take heart back. Oh, I forgot that. I'm going to draw three cards and gain two resources. Then I'm going to investigate three against three. Minus three, that is fine. I'm going to cancel that token and I'm going to get that clue and my last action is going to be move into the maniacs den so one damage here actually I am not able to do it There's one there. Draw one card. Do I want to be to take the clue or do I want to kill the guest? Because I'm not able to kill the guest and resign. That's my last action. Yeah, why not? The guests don't matter anyways. All the others are dead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. And I'm going to enter the enemy phase. One of those I have to cancel. One of those is Leo de Luca's thing. Upkeep. Card, gain a resource. One doom and encounter cards. Bleeding walls. Test X. Willpower four against two. So there's no combination that could fail lead to failure. So I'm going to take the test. Minus eight. I'm passing that test. So first action is going to be attack the crazed guest using drawing thin to draw. 
two cards. I'm at one against seven minus four, that works. Second action, I'm going to do it again. One against three plus zero, I have to cancel that marker. And minus three, place one of your clues on your location. What a shame. But that's fine because I'm just canceling that marker again. So, four damage and my last action is going to be resign because why not? So unfortunately I didn't kill that guest honorably, but I think that's fine. Okay, there's that. Those clue on the agenda, on the act. So let's do a screenshot. Shout out to Vern. Let's look him up. Vern212 from Until the End of Time, which is his YouTube channel's name. I'm looking forward to that beverage. Have a nice one. Bye.